Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Verma. I'm the lead cloud architect at Red River and I focus on cloud infrastructure and platform services. In this video series, we'll be taking a closer look at the pillars of well-architected framework recommended by AWS and how Red River is applying them for our cloud assessment services. This session is specifically geared towards how Red River focuses on the security aspects of the assessment. The security assessment starts with the assessment of the workload where the secure access into the applicable AWS accounts is evaluated. Sign-in mechanisms are validated against strong password policies, least privileges, and use of multi-factor authentication. Role-based and attribute-based access policies and the use of features like Secrets Manager is also reviewed here. The infrastructure protection assessment comes in next, where separation of network layers using VPCs, subnets, route tables, and access control with security group, network access control list, firewalls, etc., are assessed. We also look for enablement of AWS native security services or some other third party services such as Shield, Guard Duty, Inspectors, etc. OS hardening and patching is a criteria that's important for reducing attack surface. And for this, we look for enablement of AWS system managers or other applicable third party mechanisms. From data protection point of view, we evaluate implementation of secure key management and certificate management mechanisms, encryption of data at rest and data in transit, secure access of this data, and the applicable authentication mechanisms associated with it. We also assess data lifecycle management policies, the strategy of accessing data, management of the data, the transformations, uh, retainment, and the decommissions. And as with other pillars for security as well, we ensure visibility has been enabled. We check to make sure logging is enabled at the levels of VPCs, load balancers, S3 buckets, Route 53, RDS, etc., with proper configuration of AWS cloud native services, such as CloudWatch, CloudTrail, Config, SNS, etc., and if applicable, that the events generated from these services are integrated with ticketing systems like ServiceNow. Well, this is a short summary of how Red River's public cloud assessment evaluates security aspects. To learn about other pillars of our cloud assessments, please check out other videos in the series. Thank you and have a great day.